free th free T3, free thyroxine index, or abbreviated F as in Frank, T as in Taylor, I as an individual. Free thyroxine index is another way of analyzing. T3 uptake um, is another one. And then there's two other tests that should be looked at. Sorry, I'm missing one there. Reverse T3. So that's um, eight. So TSH, T4, free T4, T3, free T3, free thyroxine index, T3 uptake, reverse T3. And then there's two additional markers that should be analyzed that are very important. I'm not going to go over each one of these markers today just because we just don't have the time and I could be here for an hour. Um, but you know, you're know you not going to want to watch a video that's an hour long in this. Um, but I will give you an opportunity to get a little more information um, as we get a little further in this video. But the two other markers are thyroid perioxidase or abbreviated TPO. And the last one is going to be antithyroglobulin antibody. So these are the markers that should be done. So if you're in a situation, as I mentioned, and you don't feel good, and your doctor's telling you that your thyroid is normal, then these other markers need to be analyzed. You either need to find someone who can do it, someone like myself or another type of healthcare practitioner, or beg and plead and borrow to have your doctor run these types of tests. Now, oftentimes the reason why the, your doctor will not run these tests is because if um, these other markers come back and there's problems going on, there's really not much they can do in the medical model in regards to pharmaceutical drugs. So that's why they usually won't run those types of tests. But there's a lot of things that can be done in the type of model that we do here in the practice, which is referred to as functional medicine. Our goal is to analyze your body in this situation, analyze the thyroid to see what area, what level of the thyroid is not working appropriately and to see what needs to be done. How can we restore function to get the thyroid working better? And many times, a lot of our patients are actually able to get off medications. They're actually able to live their life um, back to where they were um, pre-taking the medication that they were using. So those types of things, those types of markers should be analyzed so you can expand upon the analysis to really see exactly what is going on with your body. Because even though you may have a thyroid problem, the thyroid may not be the problem, right? The underlying problem could be something else going on inside your body. You could have other issues that are happening there that is creating a thyroid symptom and the treatment only is being done for the thyroid. So it may look good on paper, if you will, again, normal on paper, but the reality is there's still a problem there going on. And unless you look at the full expansiveness of what's going on in regards to the thyroid in this specific example, you're going to miss it. Hence the reason why I call it the thyroid epidemic because there's a, a major epidemic on our hands. There are many individuals who are dealing with this problem that are having thyroid issues that are being missed. They're being stepped over. They're not being listened to, which is the reason why we help so many patients with their thyroid conditions. Most of the patients that we work with, we are able to figure out exactly what the problem is, what's going on with them, and come up with a customized treatment approach to address their underlying issues that is creating the symptoms or the thyroid issue or maybe the thyroid-like symptoms because it may not be the thyroid whatsoever. So if, if you have a situation where you're having thyroid symptoms, you have a thyroid condition, um, your doctor says everything's normal, um, but you are not feeling normal, something's off, then we need to maybe look at the expansiveness of the thyroid panel as the first step in the, in the analysis here. So if, here's the deal. If this information is useful for you, you know, if this information is something you're looking for and you're, you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I, I've always thought I had a thyroid or an issue and I have been told it's been normal or nothing, nothing can ever be found or my doctor says my thyroid is normal but I still don't feel good. Well, I am going to be holding a webinar, right? And that webinar is going to go more into detail of what um, I know about the thyroid, the potential underlying problems, the concerns that could be going on in the body, the mechanisms, if you will, that could be contributing to your thyroid symptoms or your thyroid issue. It's going to be an expanded um, webinar that we'll be doing. Um, and if you're interested in attending that webinar, um, all you have to do is just put your email in, the comments there. What I'll do is I'll have one of my staff send the link for the webinar. So you, all you, you can go on there and sign up for the webinar 
um, and, and be a part of that next one we're going to be doing here. So if this, again, if this is information is, is useful, um, comment that you liked it, right? Comment that you said, or give me a thumbs up or, you know, that you liked this whole um, presentation here. If there's other things that you want me to discuss or your concerns with, maybe you're having specific symptoms, maybe there's problems you're experiencing that I didn't go over today, put that in the comments. I'll make sure I put the video together for you to help you out any way possible. That's what we're here for. If you're interested in, in um, talking more um, directly um, about your situation, you're looking for a functional medicine doctor like what we do in our practice here, um, you're always welcome to give our office a call. I'll put the office phone number in the comments there. Um, you can, we can get you set up for a, um, a consultation, either being virtual or in, in person, because um, we are still seeing patients in office um, here in San Diego. So again, I hope this information was useful for you today. Be on the lookout. I'll be doing more of these on a regular basis in regards to thyroid and diabetes. Um, so if you have any of those conditions, or if you know someone who has those conditions, Make sure you have them like our um, page um, or maybe you can share this video for them so they can like our page. So then when I go live like this, they can be a part of it live and then um, um, hopefully get the information that they need to you know, better their health and improve the quality of their health for the rest of their life. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope this video is worth your time. And um, again, leave a comment there if you wanna attend our, our next webinar for thyroid and how we can help patients reverse their thyroid conditions. Um, put your email there and I'll have my staff send you the uh, direct link of how you can sign up for that next webinar. And also comment um, if there's anything in the future you want me to discuss in future videos. Have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.